Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through tree structured directory. So in the previous tutorial, we have gone through introduction to directories and we gone through two types, the first level and the second level. So tree level, sorry, tree structured directory. So here we can have any number of levels and the files can be stored anywhere. Fine. So allows the users to create their own sub directories. Yeah, that's what I was saying and organize their files accordingly. So here from here on, the, it depends completely on user. Previously, the each there should be only one directory level and one user level. There are something fixed, but here we are not having anything fixed like that, guys. Okay, so I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So let us continue. So it is the path from the root th root through all the files. That is nothing but directory to file. So if you want to know the path, so from uh, so if you want to travel from one place to another, you will be saying the stops, right? So from here, let us assume you are in a bus. So if someone asks you how much time will it take for that place? So you'll be saying the next stop is this, the next stop is this, the next stop is yours. So you need to skip two stops. So like that you'll be saying, right? So in this way, the path is also justified in that way, directly to the particular file. Okay. So let us go through a small example. Okay. So here there are root. These are nothing but let us assume that uh, C drive, D drive, E drive. So this is your folder. This is your friend's folder. This is your parents, mom, mother's and father's folder. This is your siblings folder. Fine. So in that you are, they are also having their subfolders and they are also they are storing their certificates, files and anything. Fine. Okay. So what are the advantages? This is very generalized since full path of the name can be given. So we can say that root one double slash d5 double slash d6 double slash d7. We need this. Let us assume this as f7 or f6, f5, f4. So we need f4. So in that way we can show this will be the path. You will be going exactly in that path. You will be finding the file. So it will be really easy and searching also. Yeah, searching also becomes really easy and we can have less name collisions guys. Fine. And what are the disadvantages? We cannot share the files. See here. Can you share any files? No, because they are completely from different, different roots or users. Here it is roots basically. So that's the reason why you cannot sh share them. So it is inefficient because accessing of files may take under multiple directories. So let us assume you, are, you want to hide some thing in your system. So you can create some n number of folders, one inside the other, so that the some end user, if someone comes, he'll be opening two or three folders. After that, he'll be get, he'll be bored to open all the folders, like hundred or two hundred, if you create in that way. So that will be an issue. So that's the that's it is that this is inefficient. So after that, we got a cyclic graph directories. So till now, I we are discussing about sharing is not possible. Sharing is not possible. That's the only disadvantage which we are discussing from the three things from the three directory structures so a cyclic graph structure so this introduced to sharing guys so it is useful when same file need to be accessed in more than one place yes in the directory structure files are shared between the one users and processes so according to our requirement we can share them see here this is a file which can be accessed from this user or this user so you can assume that is user 1 user 2 directory 1 directory 2 directory 3 so user 1 can access from directory 3 the file let us assume f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 so you can access this file u1 can access d3 and d3 from d3 he can come to f2 so that is nothing but this is a shared because user 2 can come from d4 to f2 so that file is common in between both the users so both of them can use even here also we are having one more file fine so this is this started with sharing guys so basically the advantage will be we can share the files searching is too easy due to different paths so if you want to search this f2 file you can come in this path or in this path so we are having multiple paths so let us assume this f5 you can come in this way or you can come in this way okay so i hope everyone got a small idea on this okay so what will be the disadvantages we share the file via links in case of any deletion we need it creates a problem because we need to remove all those branches and all those wires got it okay so now let us go through the last type of directory structure and which we are using in our systems now fine so general graph directory structure in general graph directory structures cycles are allowed within a directory so you can move from one directory to another directory previously we used to have one file and we used to have from multiple directories we used to access it right in the previous one but here we can have access through directories itself directly okay directories can be 
derived from more than one parent even that's also an issue sorry that's also an advantage so basically we are having users nothing but roots we are having few directories we are having the files those are nothing but children's you can call them see here this is a directory which is created and this directory is accessing from here and this is in reverse to that so this this is forming a cycle right so these things will make the accessing of files really easier and faster but this might be a cost efficient but the advantage will be we can do flexible ways in which we searching deletion and everything so it allows uh, cycles yeah we can allow cycles it is more flexible than other directory structures the main disadvantage it is cost uh, costlier than others and it needs a garbage collector separately so now i hope everyone got at least a small idea on all these directory structures guys so in the next tutorial we'll be going through file mounting thank you thanks for watching